Hello friends and followers, this is Razor and I'm doing an updated version of my horror movie collection starting off with my pops and my few Jason masks and a couple other goodies. The masks were painted by Frankie Carter. Good friend of mine. Those are the only pops you need. And that one. <laughs> She's the newest edition. Elvira. Moving on, right below are the movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street. If you follow the Horror Syndicate, my website, you'll know that A Nightmare on Elm Street is my favorite horror movie of all time. And I have multiple versions of the movie. And I will not stop buying the collections like this one. I plan to have, I guess, two, three, five, Freddy's Dead, and New Nightmare all in that set to have all those releases. And I'm doing the same thing with Friday the 13th. As you see, this is a newer set, and I plan on getting all of those, just because I love Friday the 13th so much. If you have not played the Friday the 13th game on PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One, I suggest it. It is a lot of fun. I suck at being Jason. Uh, this is a must. This is the Blu-ray set. That's not a must. I would like a better Blu-ray set than what they have. Uh, Crystal Lake Memories is a must. Seven-hour documentary on the series. Even has the uh, television series. And then uh, over on the Nightmare on Elm Street side, we have Never Sleep Again. It's four hours, and it is fantastic. It's on uh, Netflix as well, but get your own copy. That's what I say. Moving into Psychos, uh, I'm going to talk about Scream Factor quite a bit because I'm really impressed with their Blu-ray uh, releases. And I have all four Psycho movies on Blu-ray, including the Scream Factories. And then there's another one, The Burning. Um, Tom Savini left Friday the 13th Part 2 to do The Burning. I think that was a mistake. While The Burning is cool, it's not as good as Friday the 13th Part 2. Anyway, moving on. Halloween. Yes, yeah, more Scream Factories. Scream Factory was able to release and get together every single Halloween movie and put them in one set. This is a collector's dream, if you ask me, because you get original poster art, which, pardon the glare, I'm no filmmaker. The original poster art for <laughs> for Halloween 2 is, is key because I've never seen this on a DVD release before. I mean, this is what we get. I mean, which one do you like better? You know, and then there is one other Blu-ray, which I will say is a must to have because it has, if this focuses for me, you can almost see it, Terror in the Isle. It is a documentary that takes place before the movie's that came out in the 1984 time. So, it's a must. It's only like eight bucks. It's a great documentary. And then my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. I do have, what, five different copies of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, all I can tell you is I love it. I love the series. I love the second movie. It's so off the wall compared to the first one. And made by the same guy, Toby Hooper. You'd think that it'd be closer to the original, but Toby Hooper kind of went just balls to the wall. Dennis Hopper went crazy. Uh, he he brought a chainsaw to a chainsaw fight. A couple of them. And then Leatherface, which may be an underrated movie. I think it's fantastic. We need a new release of that, too. Uh, I'd love Scream Factory to get a hold of that. And then Scream. And we'll move on in just a moment so I can put these back. Trying to keep this moving along because I have uh, 537 different horror movies and over 700 different discs in this collection. So we're moving on to another favorite series, Hellraiser in the Scarlet Box by Arrow. This is the U.S. version, and it's everything it says it is. It's fantastic. Otherwise, I have every other single edition of the Hellraiser. To go along with the, uh, the Scarlet Box, go ahead and do yourself a favor and get this. These movies aren't great. But, at six bucks, I think is what I bought this for, it also has a digital copy of Bloodline in it. Uh, it's worth it. <laughs> the, the transfers are actually pretty, pretty good. So, and we got Nightbreed, some more Clive Barker, Candyman, moving into my Romero movies with Dawn of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead. Uh, Dawn of the Dead, this is a fantastic collection. Got that in like 2004. Uh, I think this is out of print, as is the... Uh, I'm going to kill my 
<laughs> Day of the Dead. I think that's out of print also. Another Scream Factory with one of the, their custom covers, which I really love. Survival of the Dead is crappy. Night of the Living Dead, the remake, is pretty good. This is a foreign version that I need a region-free Blu-ray player for. Thank you, Rob Martinez. Uh, we got uh, Return of the Living Dead. Yes, I have multiple copies of that, too. It's one of my favorites. Have you seen Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things? I suggest it. I stayed away from it for a very long time. You can find a review on thehorrorsyndicate.com. But I really, really, really enjoy it. And I think you will, too, especially if you're a zombie movie lover. It's so off the wall. And uh, it's worth it to stick to, with it to the end, because the end is fantastic. As we run into the six-minute mark, we're looking at uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night. There's a Blu-ray, which is okay. Uh, and then the double feature. That's got the second movie. I'd like to get the other ones as well, but uh, not really that big of a deal. I got uh, Puppet Master. Sorry. Again, I'm not a filmmaker. On Blu-ray, and then I got the first two on DVD. I've got all of them, I think, because there's a couple sets down below. Altered States. Uh, we did an Is It Horror on the Horror Syndicate. Uh, I Say Yes. Uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I'd like to get the Scream Factory Edition. I do like the Insidious movies. Enough to buy them twice, because I'm a nerd. Uh, the Babadook is a good movie. Uh, it's a, a, an acquired taste, I guess. Some people don't like it. Terror Vision is wonderful. Okay, and then moving down here, we've got our Lucio Fulci in Italian. All my Italian horrors right here. The Beyond is one of my favorites. Uh, City of Living Dead is awesome, too, but I like The Beyond quite a bit. New York Baby... The New York Ripper's so weird. Inferno's my favorite, Argento. And then we got The Fly, the classic Fly movies. This was one of my favorite finds at Best Buy one day. The Phantasm films. Uh, this is the American, what is it called? The Well Go USA or something like that set. It comes with the Scream Factory edition of the Phantasm 2, which I already have. And it, it doesn't matter. The whole set's here matching cases they have cover art i did a, a, a unboxing on uh the horse syndicate.com which you can find it there and uh it has reversal reverse of cases on it and everything here's my jaws collection yep i have a problem and i'm still debating on if i want to get the child's play set on blu-ray they have one set now but there's a new movie coming out so I stay away from sets if they're still making movies. Need to speed this up. Classic horror. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, Dracula from 1931 Universal movies. Became a big fan of those in the mid-90s after I saw the horror of Dracula with Christopher Lee. That's what I grew up on. Some Dracula films, some different vampire films, subspecies, always great. Return of the Vampire is actually pretty good. Can you tell who that is? It's Lugosi. And then uh, a couple of uh, fun zombie movies that are okay to me. Some of the newer horror films out. The Neon Demon. Anyone seen that? Anyone a fan? It's okay. Jared Letourneau of the Horror Syndicate loves it. He raved about it. Uh, yeah, I got the Ouija movies. They were $2 a piece. And the Blade movies don't really count, but they are vampire movies. On to the sixth shelf, and we've got some more newer things, like Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. It's a fun movie. has some slow parts. Oculus is good. Dead and Breakfast laid the rest. Don't breathe. What's above that? You can't see what you can't read. Lights out. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh... Chud, Chud 2, and these are the Vestron releases, and the gate I just did a review on, it's posted today, Vestron collection, they're all numbered, which I really like, I've got 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 28 days later, Blu-ray is shit, don't buy it, it's one of the worst transfers I've ever seen for anything, I've got Critters, you can almost not read it. You know, you can't read it. And then Pumpkinhead, Wolfen. 
an American Werewolf in London. This Blu-ray is no good. This one is. The Howling films, I need to get the Scream Factory vi uh, versions of those. At least it, for one. Scream Factory carry. All the different carry movies. Stephen King. Evil Dead. Everyone loves Evil Dead, right? I can't wait for the second season of Ash vs. Evil Dead to come out. I have not watched it. I love From Beyond and Reanimator. Arrow has an edition of Reanimator coming, so I will buy that as well. So I'll have three copies of Reanimator. I don't care. Not quite sure where to put birds. I have one other Alfred Hitchcock movie, and it is Psycho. So, we got The Exorcist. I do like the second movie. I don't care what anybody says. If you try to follow up the scariest movie of all time, that's what you're going to be stuck with. So, I have The Shining in two places. You'll see. I'm a big fan of the Amityville series. Well, up to about the fourth one. The fourth, no, the fourth one's terrible. Uh, it's about time wasn't bad. And I do have House on Haunted Hill. That's the 99 version and the 59 version. 13 Ghosts, both versions. Two copies of Jacob's Ladder. Rings, I have not watched yet. So I cannot comment on it. The Brood is fantastic. Scanners is really good. Cloverfield is good. The Aliens movies, yes. This is a quadrilogy. Anthology is what they call it, I guess. The original DVD release was called a quadrilogy. But I have too many copies of Aliens now, too. Alien and Aliens. What's it? One, two, three. Four copies of Alien. And so four copies of Aliens as well. So I like them. AVP is upside down. My son was born while that movie was playing on the DVD player at the hospital. Big fan of Silence of the Lambs. It would be one of my favorite movies of all time, I'd say. The Purge movies, yeah. It's like I, I didn't buy horror on Blu-ray for a long time because it just didn't seem like it's worth it. But now like they have these Black Friday deals and I find them for super cheap, so I buy them. And I keep them. The Fog. I love John Carpenter's The Fog. Yeah, Prince of Darkness is the newest addition to the collection. The, the Scream Factory, again. Uh, this Cabin Fever and... Oh, yeah. That is sad. Basket Case movies are gold. They're not great, but they're fun movies. Uh, we're going to be doing a show on the Final Destination movies uh, next week on THS Live, the Horror Syndicate Live. Those are great cases, aren't they? I mean, the first one's pretty much close to the original, but that... Who released these? I don't remember. Oh, Synapse. I think that's how you say it. <sighs> Can we beat 15 minutes? I don't know. Krampus. Kids love that. Some, there's no rhyme, no reason to my collection. Rob Martinez, a, a good friend of mine, says I should do alphabetical order. I cannot do that. I just cannot do it. There's Demons and Demons 2. And they're backwards. That's great. And Night of the Demons, another great movie. Scream Factory. The Hostel movies are fun. The Breed. Uh, borderline Horror. House and House 2. Uh, is it Arrow that's releasing those? I think Arrow is. Or they did release them, one of the two. It's another set I'd like to get. And we're on the last shelf. This is where all the shows mostly are, but Paranormal Activity, the wife and I like those. Uh, <laughs> Wishmaster. I'd like to get, that's another uh, set I'd like to get. That I think Vestron did those. The Blair Witch movies. Yeah, the dead I did not like. They were highly came highly recommended from an old horror group I was in on Facebook, and they were dreadfully boring. Everybody has an opinion. Mine is they're boring. Going down to, ooh, Tales from the Crypt. Just completed that set. Demon Knight is a great movie. 
If you've not seen that, you're missing out. I'm missing one season of The Walking Dead, and that was a mistake. Thank you, Walmart.com. American Horror Story, I'm a fan. I liked Scream Queens. I'm sad that it got, uh, did not get renewed. It got canceled. So the second season will be on DVD eventually. American Psycho. The Midnight Horror Collection are the uh, Puppet Master movies. Transylvania 65,000, Once Bitten, a couple of horror comedies. Frighteners is good. The stuff is great. Toxie's in there. The Town that Dreaded Sundown. That's the remake. Or the... I don't know if the remake or what it is, actually. They are self-aware of the original movie. And then Planet Terror. That is a horror movie. I don't know if Death Proof is. So that's the collection. All in all, after counting, I've had 537. Don't look at my... Don't look at those. Those are my graphic novels, and it's not in good shape. There's Windex over there. But uh, 537 different horror movies. Uh, 32 Scream Factory releases. Yes, there's Febreze, too. Febreze. Check that out. Deathstroke. Anyway, there's the collection. Show off a couple posters here. The Beyond. It's 11 by 17. That's a really cool size. Frames five bucks at Walmart. Go down my hallway and you see the Night of the Living Dead. In the bedroom. I'm hoping to complete these at Days of the Dead or Horror Hound. 11 by 17s so have the whole collection go across the wall. A Nightmare on Elm Street. My bedroom, again. Thanks again for watching. You can follow me at Razor underscore 33 on Twitter. Uh, go to the thehorrorsyndicate.com or the Horror Syndicate on Facebook and follow us. Uh, great content, trying to make horror great again. We're all fans of the Horror Syndicate, so none of us get paid to talk about these movies and do reviews and buy all this stuff. None of this was bought on the Horror Syndicate's dime. Because the Horror Syndicate makes no dimes. Anyway. There it is. At least it's not a mess. Like this. That's, and there's Leatherface, always laying down. That son of a bitch. <laughs> Pinhead. Alright. Let's go play some Friday the 13th. Yay!